so what is going on guys so in this video i'm going to show you how uh, cuda and 24k john normally do their zooms this video was requested or this tutorial was requested by some of my members on my discord on how to create the zooms so now let's get into after effect so now in after effect i have my clips so i just have my beat mag and the, the clips line up to the beat so this is what we have So with this, I've not actually added anything to it. All I have done is just track their faces. So I've made some face tracking. So now all we have to do is add our twister to this. And if with me, so you can actually use your twister. If you're having a twister rule or you're having the normal twister, you can use it. But for me, I'll be using my BCC Red Time ML. So BCC uh, Red Time ML is just like the twister, but uh, I prefer this because sometimes using twister you get some artifacts in your video but with this you are not going to get that so this is what i'll do so at the beginning i will just make a keyframe for our speed hit you to reveal your keyframes then i'll just go to the middle then i'll make another keyframe for the beginning i'm going to type like 120 then the middle I'll go for 40 and at the end I'll go back to my 120 then I'll just move my keyframe to the end and I'll highlight all my keyframes easy ease go to my graph and you can make a graph like this to copy the same thing to all our layers okay guys so we're done adding our bcc read time ml now all we have to do is just create our zooms so i'll just add my adjustment layer here then i'll add blame or curve so we're going to create a zoom out make sure you have a reflect turn on just create a keyframe for the z distance kit you to reveal your keyframes send it to the end and now go to the beginning and let's go for 0.5 you can actually position your anger point highlight your keyframes easy ease and let me change the color of our adjustment layer here go to our graph uh, we actually want it to slow down in the middle so I just select uh, your handle here and send it to this this side here and go to this one too and bring it just like this you want it to rest here and move fast so this is what we'll do so i'll bring this i'll bring this just like so and i'll bring this to just like this and i can position my anger point here duplicate this and move it to the other layers so we are done aligning our zooms to all our layers if you play this Uh, one effect you can add to this so you just create a new solid or you create a shape or just create a shape like so you can toggle the proportional grid so i just align this like this and go let's change the color so let's go in time like three frames one two three and cut it again and just delete the remaining so bring this layer just down our clip here and now duplicate this again ctrl d and move it to the last video so if it if you put this one here then for the second one move this to our side here and also turn on the proportional grid so that you can align it very well and now if you play this And actually you can duplicate this and add it to all your clips or you can control d 
and move this to this side here so we are going to bring this to this side and you can actually go and change the color so you can go into the fill and choose a different color you can duplicate it again and move it down so with this i'm going to you can even change the position of of this so this is here so just change the direction for this so put this one here then with this in the direction for this so put this one here at the end uh, we are getting this effect and actually you you can use this to spice up your edits go inside the comp open the comp and now just bring your video you want to pop up and I'll, i'm going to use this video so just drag go to your project and look for and just drag it into the comp kill this down s for scale and you can just select your shape tool and just make a layer max like so and now convert it to 3d so go to scale scale this down and move it to this side here so go to your position p hit on p send your keyframes some few frames and send your video to the top so if the video is about to get into the scene we're going to scale this as for scale hit you to reveal your keyframes and here make sure you disable this and we're going to tweak the y Let's change the size again so change the y now let's add a drop shadow so you can see we have a drop shadow here and you just now duplicate this again ctrl d and change the color and now let's move it to our, the other side here I actually change the video let's go into our main comp and let's see our results so you have your videos popping up inside so now let me delete this and now let me add a new video select my crop tool and i'm just going to crop it like this and with this i'm just going to move it to the other side to scale and just change the scale like this move some few frames one two then change the scale again move some few frames one two and also change the scale move some frames one two and change the scale again so you can see now main comp so with this let's go into the comp we're going to split this ctrl shift d just grab your roto brush grab your roto brush and we're going to just make a quick max so now go into your main comp so go inside the comp now you can see we have uh, rotated out our subject so just duplicate this ctrl d and delete the roto brush and now we have our subject and the background so now all we have to do now is just import some videos and i'll bring this video into the comp so i'm going to put it between the background and the roto brush and just hit s for scale so with this we can now place it behind them so just grab your shape tool and let's make a max so max this like this and i'll just move it behind them you can convert it to 3d so just turn it into 3d and with the help of the scale you can scale it down so i'll scale it like this so hit on p for position make a keyframe move this to like some few frames turn it to the side here 
it on scale make sure you uncheck this then make a keyframe for the scale so you're going to change some settings here move some few frames so guys so basically this is how to create this type of uh, zooms just add your watermark your effect you want to add so guys thanks for watching thanks for all the support and i'm going to see you in my next video peace